Spotify. Yeah, Spotify wants to suggest songs based on your emotions, which uh, at first sounds kind of interesting. It's a kind of a, a cool concept that if you feel a certain way, Spotify can um, recommend certain songs to sort of maybe cheer you up if you feel sad or something along those lines. But the part that gets a little creepy for me is the way that they're planning on doing this is uh, they put a patent into the US Patent Office to use a like voice recognition software that then can, can, can detect your mood based on your voice. Um, mm. Which at first I'm like, you know, my, my s sort of liberty, civil liberty kind of brain is firing up like, mm, that sounds a little weird. Um, I don't know. And they, they give uh, the plans for how they're going to do it on here. Mm -hmm. um, it, I mean, it, it says about it, it based on your speech recognition, it can tell your emotional state, your gender, your age, the accent, um, your environment. Where are you? Um, it can it can tell basically what you're doing, who you are and where you are, and then base their their content on on that information um which for a, a a person who really doesn't care this sounds really cool but for me um this just seems like this is probably my like ai apocalyptic brain going but it's like what's the next step like if spotify can come up with this like you know for a fact governments can also come up with this kind of stuff um yeah yeah. And it just seems very, very creepy to me. I don't know. What what do you what do you think about it? I think it's super creepy as well. And I I feel this is just my personal opinion, I feel that humans are being replaced. Um you can now get an app to cheer you up. Especially in today's world where uh, there's so much social distancing and you can't just run over to your friend's house and, you know, get drunk together or whatever you do to feel better. Um, now you can have a nap cheer you up. Um, and that, for me, that's creepy. I think that every, the, the things that technology used to not be able to replace humans are now being replaceable. That that, that's a good point about the social distancing of it, it's kept us from our friends so when we need to to vent or or such like the only things we can do now are go to apps or websites or or things of that nature i didn't think about that aspect that that's even creepier um yeah that we yeah would, it's that we we're would almost being yeah we're almost being forced into into or forced out of certain basic human abilities which mm. i think is we've already surpassed the point where we need to be with that um i think that there's much more much less personal interaction face-to-face -face interaction than there used to be i think that's you can't argue that yeah. And I think that that is extremely detrimental because humans are emotional, um, uh, clan-like animals that that so they're extremely social. And I think that we'll probably start seeing some extreme consequences because of things like this. Yeah. I think that the technology is really cool. You know, being able to to um, you think it's cool? Someone's emotions. I think that the, I think the technology aspect of it, like it's just incredible what we can do now. But what we really have to, what we really have to do is decide how we use this technology and if we're going to use this technology. Mm. Well, that's like, what that's we can't. What... We can't stop technology. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. At the end of this article, it does say that uh, Spotify's research team have uh, cautioned uh, the implementation of it. Um, it says mm -hmm. they recognize the digital history of somebody is extremely personal, 
and um, they're going to disavow any future research that violates ethical standards. Well, it's like we've heard that. I don't want to lump Spotify into these other companies. Well, we've heard that before with from Facebook and others, and I mean we all know now that Facebook is is basically selling all of our information. Um, yeah. So it depends on like what their line of ethical standards is. Like, is their line of ethical mm-hmm. standards our line of ethical standards, or because they are a company that need to make a profit, do they skew that line a little? in a different direction and their ethical standards then says oh it's okay to collect all of this information about your emotional state where you are and what you're doing at a specific time so it just well i can answer that for you it's definitely skewed it's definitely it's that it's definitely skewed because because there's profit involved maybe that's just extremely pessimistic of me but no, I don't think it's pessimistic because I think we've we've seen how, what these technology companies are capable of and what they're doing. Like the whole, remember when Facebook and and them started, and it was like we our goal is to just spread knowledge around the world, openness and connect people. Like you don't hear that anymore. They don't talk about mm-hmm. connecting people anymore. No. Like that that no. whole line of garbage is is like they want to they they know it's such bullshit. They don't even say it anymore. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, that's, this is just getting super deep (laughs) into a lot of stuff, but yeah, it's just sad how number one, uh, social media companies have just completely changed in, in their reasoning for opening their companies and two, how disconnected we are, um, or even continuing to be disconnected from like super basic aspects of life. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll see what happens then. Yeah.